I'm off to peel me spuds. But yeah, spuds, spuds. Some things never change. <clears throat> it's like the sameness. Well, sameness and familiarity are interesting things, aren't they? Familiarity is, you know, when you've been to a place so many times, like a, like a cafe at the end of the world, and you go there and you think, oh, yeah, this is so familiar because you've just been there so many times, I guess. You feel at home. And it's like with, with sameness, well, I could be peeling me spuds here I am in mid Patagonia on the way to cross the lower Andes between Argentina and Chile. We're on the way, I'm on the way to the, um, the Carretera Austral. Still got to peel me potatoes because I'm camping every night. I carried a spacious Hilleberg tent with enough room to edit my small films and I'd hang my clothes on the bike to dry. And I'm on the road actually which is already, maybe it's not peace, maybe it's actually kind of a c c construction. So does that count as peace? Does peace have to be a, the natural state of a, of a, of a road or track? If it's going to be paved, then maybe it's no longer pieced. I don't know. But it's pretty horrible road. It's just hard pebble. It's just really, really horrible to ride on, especially when you're carrying the weight that I am. It's the sheer size of Patagonia that impresses. It reduces everything that crosses into it into something very small. Time for dinner. Morning. The occasional truck passes. We've all got somewhere to go. Every country has its formidable, legendary route, and Chile is no exception. Uh, USA has Route 66, and Argentina has the famous Route of 40. Well, down here in southern Chile, in the southwest, you've got Route of 7, which is a carretera austral. And it, it stretches from a little place called, a, a settlement called the Villa O'Higgins, down in the far south, in the Aisnan province, which is all the way to Puerto Montt. Carretera Austral passes through an isolated part of Chile. It has glaciers, high waterfalls, high mountains, vertiginous slopes and the largest temperate rainforest in the world. Construction didn't start until 1983, and the last 100 kilometres weren't actually completed as peace until the year 2000, and the pavement is still being laid. <laughs> 